Now, I know that different people like to kind of organize their files in different ways and, and manage their images. Some people like to manage images based on the people that are in the photographs. Other people like to manage images based on the time that the images were taken. But I think one of the greatest ways to kind of manage your images is by location. And so in Lightroom 4, we have a new map module and it really gives you a visual representation of where all your photographs have been taken. So we will auto read any GPS information. So let's say for example, um, you've been carrying around your phone and taking pictures with that phone. You may or may not have known that most cell phones today by default, we'll go ahead and add location information or GPS coordinates to those photographs. So if there's already GPS data in the file, we will read that GPS location. In fact, you can see the GPS location right here for this image that I have selected. We will automatically uh, read that information and plot your images on this map. Now, you might be using a digital SLR and you may not have that GPS data embedded in all of your files, in which case what you can do is you can actually search the map. So let's say for example, um, well I know I have a bunch of images that I took at White Sands uh, National Park. So let's go ahead and do a search on that. And oh, you can see it's actually White Sands National Monument. But now if I have some images from there, all I need to do is find those images and then we can select those and simply drag those images right there to White Sands. And you can see that I just dragged 157 images in there. And we'll go ahead and just zoom back out here. And you can see the larger map and you can see that those images are now part of this kind of larger visual representation of all the different places that I photographed um, in the US. So it's very easy to find locations and drag and drop locations. Now, if you're constantly shooting in certain locations or you constantly want to navigate into certain locations, you'll notice here on the left-hand side, we actually have saved locations. So say, for example, I want to quickly go and see all of my images that I photographed in Yellowstone. Well, I can quickly go to that kind of saved view of the map, or I can go here to Ireland and see all of those images. And of course, it's giving me the photo count, but as soon as I click on that photo count, we can actually navigate through and see what images were taken at that location. Now, if you happen to have a device that can create a track log, well, well, first of all, well, you want to make sure, um, I know because I've done this, if you have one of those devices you, and you have your DSL camera and you're going to put that track log together with the camera, just make sure that the camera's date and time is set correctly because I've forgotten and I've changed time zones and then everything's off by an hour. So um, what you would do is you would simply, you know, go into the library module on all those photographs and actually change the capture time and that's really easy to adjust just by time zone. But then here in the map module, you would just come down and you would load the track log which is just a file, so you would go and grab that track log, and then after it's loaded, you could auto tag all of your photographs and it would pair up the track log with the photograph and you'd have all the GPS information in each one of the images. Now, some of you might be thinking, that's great to have the information in the files, but maybe some of that location information might be sensitive. So you will notice, for example, if I go back to the library module and we can just select, I don't know, maybe these four images here, on export, in the metadata area, you can tell it whether you're, you're going to export all the metadata or all except camera and camera raw info. Both of those two options have this additional option to remove the location information. I mean, obviously, if you're telling Lightroom to only uh, export the copyright and contact information, then it will remove that location information automatically. But it's really quite nice to know that you can remove that even if you want all of the other information, all of the other metadata information to follow along with that file. And just one last thing we should know, in the filter area, if you click on metadata, you will notice that you can now filter by both GPS data as well as GPS location. Excellent, that wraps up the map module in Lightroom 4. Thanks so much for watching.